she was ex so full of things to say. She like needed five mediums to say them. <laughs> you know, she was drawing, she was painting, she was writing songs, she was writing plays, she was writing poetry, and all of them were like different expressions of different sorts of, you know, stories that she had to tell, stories that she felt like needed to be told. And I think the poetry was the most autobiographical. Um, I'm thinking of poems about my aunt and about my, her love of New York and, but that was very, that was her, her voice about her own life. Things would be born in an, in an unspecified medium and they would sort of develop in her brain and I thought maybe they, you know, she didn't really write music, but she didn't, so it was very organic. Um, I think sometimes things would, have, I, I don't, I don't totally know her process, but I think that, you know, sometimes things would develop into songs and sometimes they would turn into poems and yeah, dependent. She was always doing something. I mean, she was always drawing. Sort of unformed, like very lots of lines and uh, wasn't like a one stroke. She would do lots of sort of lots of lines together to sort of make it feel almost in motion. Um, and she would often sketch the same thing a couple of times. So like draw a couple of different sketches of the same thing. Often with like to others, very limited difference. But I think she had a, you know, a secret thing she was going for. She drew a lot of nature scenes and a lot of, you know, sort of villagey like houses and um, people, you know, portraits of people, um, watercolor and, um, but a lot of nature scenes, a lot of like paths and trees sort of branching and uh, yeah, well, you know, soft lines, um, lots of white space or not in all of them, but I'm thinking of some where there was, you know, images in the middle and, and some where she would fill it with a road, lots of roads, lots of, yeah. And she would talk about that. That was like one of her, um, I don't know, symbols or totems or something like the idea of a road. She had a few sort of images that she yeah, closely identified with and, and uh, the vague path was a big one. I mean, she'd write stories and she'd just fill paper. The house was like, I mean, full of her work, her, and she'd write it, you know, and especially would sort of become, I think, as her memory faded or changed, more like it would sort of become a narrative for herself. Like she'd write the same stories and tell them over and over again and write them and draw them over and over and over again. And it was like a way of sort of holding on and processing and keeping things. You know, she gave of herself artistically very, with little inhibition. I think that you can find her in her poems and her songs. Um, that she did a very good job of, you know, telling her own story.